microphone for every occasion. Yes, and on this occasion we are using KSM 8s from Shaw. You have the lovely polished nickel finish and I have the one that is black, like the colour of my heart. Um, true. This is a dual dyne or dual diaphragm microphone and the idea of this is that sound not only goes into the front of the microphone but also into its cavity in the side and it hits a second diaphragm. Mm. And they've set up the, the way those two things interface with each other basically to negate the proximity effect that occurs with dynamic microphones as we know them. Mm. Proximity effect, of course, being the increase in low frequency that occurs when you bring the mic closer to the sound source. That's right. Forget about the gain. Yeah. Think about the tuning. Yeah, you'll notice that as I move the mic toward and away from my mouth, the level changes, but frequency response doesn't, remains consistent. Um, other things to know about this is that there's a, a massive null out the back of the microphone, so it's very friendly for monitors. Mm. Um, I think the handling noise is probably comparable to an SM58, um, which is, uh, I guess, to be expected given that there's twice as many diaphragms in there, there's twice as much opportunity to pick up handling noise. Hmm. Um, can't really fight the laws of physics. What do you think of this mic, Julius? I think it's a good all-purpose microphone when you don't quite know what you're going to be dealing with. Yeah, I, I'd agree a with multi, that. A multi-singer environment, for yeah. instance. Yeah, I mean, look, traditionally we, we've seen sort of omnidirectional microphones far less susceptible to proximity effect than cardioid. This is a cardioid mic. I would not use OmniLive. Um, I think if you're using headsets and stuff like that, then it's an option. But mm. for, for a handheld mic, certainly you yeah. want something that's got the directionality, especially if there's monitors involved. Yeah. Um, the other thing is because uh, we don't have that low-end... Um, rise as the distancing or sort of reduces, we don't have that also typical um, four to five k spike that a lot of mics do show, mm. which which is there to compensate for the increase in low frequency. Mm. So the top end out of this is detailed and and yet natural. You know, it's neutral. It's flat frequency response. And if you look across the plot, it's um it's basically a flat line from a hundred hertz up. Mm. Interesting. So there you go. It's a KSM eight from Shaw.